Hello everybody, this is Robert Hollis. I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day. The title for today is, What Do You Need to Believe? What do you need to believe? Now, for some of you already that have been following me for a while, I've been doing quite a few videos, trying to do one a day since the beginning of the year. And uh, one of the things that we've been going over in the last few videos is the concept of belief that again, if you don't raise your belief, then you're not gonna tap into the potential that you have that will not put you into action and without action, you won't get results. So hello, my beautiful wife, uh, Terry, and then Lisa. And so what I wanna do is show you something that my mentor shared with me. Hi, Zoltan. <clears throat> and uh, here we go. So it's a little bit of a peace sign here and uh, some of you can take little screenshots of it or whatever. But one of the things that we talked about is do you believe? See, so, so if you, if here's things that you need to believe. You gotta believe in what you're doing, the industry. Uh, how about do you believe in the business model? How about the marketing system? Uh, here's what holds a lot of people back is uh, this one right here. You know, do you really believe that there's a lot of interested people out there. You know, a lot of people get in and they do what we call overthinking. You know what I mean? So it's always funny to me, you know, 35 plus years in this industry, and people say, still say to me, yeah, but you don't know the people in my town. You don't know the people in my state. You don't know the people in my country. <laughs> And it's like, hi, Dustin, Nicholas, and Victor. Um, it, it just, Kai, it's like people are constantly saying things out of their mouth that their ears hear. And when their ears hear it, the brain goes, okay. So people say, yeah, this works for you, Robert. It might work for other people, but I can't find the right people. I keep, you know, attracting and talking to the wrong people. And the wrong people could be a lot of different things, right? But you got to understand that you keep getting the lesson, listen closely, you keep getting the lesson until you learn it, until you change your paradigm and you think you change your thinking. The post that I changed, that I posted today with Albert Einstein is education. Education is not memorizing facts. Learning education is learning how to think, learning to get the right thoughts in your mind. So if you don't handle these objections, which is gonna be great because this is exactly what the next videos are gonna be is how to handle objections. Because if your belief is strong in who you are, what you do, and, and, and uh, who you're doing it with, then you're gonna get that rock solid uh, posture and that confidence. Hello, Norma, hi, Rita, uh, hi, Kai, Paula. Uh, thank you very much for jumping on here. Hey, Mr. Jack Craig Jackman, thank you very much, Norma. And so what I'm gonna do now is show you another side, all right? So, you know, some of you, if you don't believe in this side, you know, do you really, 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 do you believe in your company? Do you believe in the products that it has? Do you believe that the comp plan will work for you? See, if it works for other people, why wouldn't it work for you? Do you believe in the system that the company has? Do you believe in the training that the company provides? See, here's another big one. You know, if you always are thinking and saying out loud that you're stuck, that I don't know enough, that I'm missing something, that I don't know what to do, um, you know, there might be stuff with the company, you know, um, 
you know, I don't like the way they ship or I don't like the way somebody trains or I don't like um, whatever it is. Don't you guys realize by you in your mind thinking that you're missing something, that you're not enough, that you don't know enough, that you're missing something, that stops you from using your potential to go into action. Because if you knew enough and you're grateful for the industry, you're grateful for the company, you're grateful for the products, you believe that the company is awesome, that it has one of the best. See, I've always used words in my mind that even when I'm sharing them with other people, I don't want a person to have to sort of come up with the an objection. So let me give you a perfect example is people will say, I have the best product. I have the best product. That allows people to immediately say, and, and a really good objection, by the way, is, you know, I don't know if you know all the products that are available. I don't know if you know about new products that are available. So for you to say that your company is the best, that your product is the best, that the comp plan is the best, that immediately throws up a red flag for me because I know that you don't know. See, I know that you don't know. So if you use words like, I, I, I just believe in our products. I just know our comp plan is very lucrative. I just know that our system is the best that I've ever seen. You know, I, I, I don't know what's all out there, but I know that this comp plan is very, very great. I know our system's great. See, when you put their words in that way, then a person's like one of the best. You know, I know this is one of the best companies that I've seen. You know, if you ever hear me say anything, I'm never saying that I'm the best. I'm in the best company, I'm in the best comp plan, because it immediately allows people to go, come on, you know what I mean? I don't want to, and, and, and what I've shared, you know, my mentor shared with me, is a perfect introduction, a personal invite, um, walking them through the system. If you consistently do it with simple steps, then it always works. But what ends up happening is people actually use language that comes from their thinking and their belief. They use language that bring up objections. Did you guys hear that? Because people say, oh my God, a person said to me that, you know, this is an illegal pyramid scam. You know, what, what would you say to that? And I'm going, you're wrong. That, that, that's what I would say, you're wrong. And with confidence, I've been doing this for 35 years. It is not an illegal pyramid. So I'd like you, if you wanted me to, to explain to you why. See, that comes from confidence, that comes from belief, that comes from posture. And there's nothing that I can do, do except tell you what to do to instill that in you. So thank you, Craig. Hi, Rita. Uh, seeing who else jumped on here. Hi, Pat. Hi, Peter. Uh, very cool. Thank you very much, you guys, for sharing this. Uh, servant, thank you very much. And, and so, what, Norma, so thank you very much um, for sharing this with people because if you could get these things to click in your head and you believed in them as much as I did, then you would go and in tap into your potential and go into action. So now when you look at all these that I have up here, and I'm sure you guys could think of others. And um, what do you think is missing down there? What is something else that you have to believe in? Some of you probably could go ahead and put in the chat what it is. <laughs> it's you. So now here's a place that I want you guys to really think about. If other people are doing it, then you can do it. If other people are doing it, you can do it. If other people are supplementing their income, which is a great start, maybe by 
You know, I always tell people maybe one of the first goals that you would like to accomplish is that every month you can tell people that you get your products for free. Did you hear that? That that you create enough profit in your business that your products are free because you don't have to pay for them. The next goal is to be in profit. How many of you would just love to say to people, they go, oh my God, you know, Nicole, how long have you been doing this? Uh, you know, Zoltan, how long have you been doing this? Lisa, how long you've been doing this? Well, I've been doing it for X amount of time. And the one thing I love most about this company is I'm in profit. I'm in profit every single month. See, that's, that's the first step. What a lot of people do is they like, oh my God, I'm not making $20,000. Do you know how many people in the world right now need an extra income? Everybody. <laughs> I would say everybody would like to have an extra income coming in, whatever it is. And so then all you got to do is consistently help other people get their product for free and then also build a profit. If all that's what you needed to do and whatever that number is, for you to be able to get somebody to understand that they're in profit, that our first goal is to be able to go out there and share with people, you know, get them involved. And, and when we find the right people at the right time, then you're gonna be able to not only be in profit, but also how would it feel if all the money that you put into the business you were able to recruit and say that you're in profit. What if uh, you could say that I've been playing around with this industry, honestly, playing around with this business of having a home-based business or a anywhere, any place business. And what if you could say that, you know, since you started trying this industry, that you're now in profit? You know what I mean? So. It, another thing, Aaron, thank you very much, Nicholas. Uh, it, it's just really, really, really important to do the little things. And I'm going to talk about that more in, in objections. But the next goal that I just want to talk about, and I think I'll do this video tomorrow, is um, the things that you, you got to do to believe in your ability to do, to do this. Now, when people first get involved, in doing this business uh, or any business, it's the thoughts that we're overthinking about what are the little things that we got to do, the little, simple, easy things that we need to do so that we get results from that. So we get, we do these little things. So I did a video. And I know that Craig might be on here or Aaron, but I did a video on how to make friends. You know what I mean? I did a video yesterday because of my birthday and it's like no exaggeration, no need to, to embellish in any way, shape or form. But you know, I'm now slowly responding the best of my ability to over a thousand messages. So, a thousand messages, uh, some songs, some videos. Uh, one guy played the guitar and sang happy birthday to me. Some of you out there have some incredible, incredible messages. And, and you sang me happy birthday. <laughs> and it's like, so some of you are going, you know, I don't even know how to, how to build a friend. I don't even know how to build a base of people that would know, like, and trust me. And, and that's where you start. So can you imagine being in a position, I'm very grateful, I, I'm, I'm very thankful, I'm, I'm, I'm just so incredibly blessed, but to really be in, in, in a situation where you, know, you have to take the time to respond back to a thousand people. Now, I don't have to, but I'm going to. I'm going to reply and, and hard up and send personal messages back to every single person that sent me a message. And I think that some of you would probably go, yeah, I, I would do that too. 
So when working on you tomorrow, I'm setting this video up, tomorrow I'm gonna just show you and share with you just a couple of things that you need to be spending all, listen closely, all of your time doing. Because if you believe that other people did it, then you can do it. If you believe the products and the comp plan work for others and works for you, then what we need to do is we got to get you, we got to get you a result. We have to get you a result. Does that make sense to you guys? And the way that you get a result in everything in life is to figure out something simple and easy that you can do that I can show you to do. And when you do it, that starts building your belief again, allows you to tap into more potential that allows you to go into more action and get more results. So if you, now trust me when I say this, all right, I'm showing you again. You could take a screenshot of it or go back and rewind it at another time. You got to think about, yeah, I finally said think. You know, you got to think about the things that are holding you back. And those are called limiting beliefs. Limiting beliefs. And so we got to find where these blockages are so you can get a breakthrough. Because once the company's not the problem, once the products are not a problem, once the system's not a problem, once the industry is not a problem, once you truly believe that there's literally, literally millions and millions and millions of people every day praying that someone like you would get a hold of them. <laughs> Hi, Margaret. Hi, Nancy. Uh, Peter. It's like if you knew, if you knew for a fact that there was people out there that were ready to get involved and they were ready, they got the money, they got the time, they, they, they have the contacts, they have the confidence, the belief, everything, and they're just sitting around and maybe even on their knees praying, you know, listen, I, I'm listening, uh, whoever's out there, God, the universe, whatever, please bring me the answer to, to help me get out of this situation. And I know there's millions of people out there. That's what allows me to go through all the grains of sand <laughs> because I know there's diamonds in there. I know there's gold in there. And that's why, you know, even Kai, I shared him a message today. The only difference between me and Kai and some of you that are, are not getting the results is you're still, you know, too involved in people's replies. You know what I mean? So me, if I said, hey, I was wondering if you could do me a huge personal favor, and they're like, ah, uh, I don't know. I'm like, never mind, never mind. So I don't want to get ahead of myself because I already got videos of training in my head, but I'll give you guys a really quick one. And I have no experience on what I'm about to ready to tell you, but I'm familiar with a lot of people that talk about dating sites. All right, dating sites. And I also know there's dating apps. So with that said, once you really understand what you want in life, how, how fast can you go through profiles? You know, like I said, I've never been on these apps, but it's like, you know, you know, go left, go right, go left, go right. You know, no, 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 maybe. Nope, 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 maybe. Nope, nope, yeah, yeah. Nope, 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 nope. See, if people understood that finding interested people was exactly that same way, that now what you're doing is you're looking for interested people that are interested in the same things that you are. You wouldn't deliberately go out and try to, you know, date or hook up with someone that had the exact opposite beliefs that you would. Would you? <laughs> so I don't know if some of you that are doing this, maybe you're doing this and you're not getting results, but it's like, I wouldn't get on a dating site that was, and I know they're out there, 
But I wouldn't go on a dating site of people that just wanted to cheat on their spouses. <laughs> it's like it's like some of you want everybody in your business. I do not. Did you guys catch that? I do not. I'm consistently looking because I know what I believe. I know what I have. I feel like I got, you know, a, a, a gold brick that's worth millions of dollars. And I'm trying to convince people to create a free account to, so I can show them how they can become financially free. And I'm sorting so fast, so quick that I'm just not spending time with people that don't know what they want and they don't believe in themselves. If they don't believe in this industry, if they don't believe in, 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 in the company that I'm with, if they don't believe in certain products that I have, if they don't believe in marketing online, why would I want to convince somebody against their will? Because trying to convince people against their will is not changing the mindset that they have still. You got to learn to change people's paradigms to get them to believe if they have objections, that's fine. But you got to be able to switch these paradigms and I'll start doing videos that, you know, some of you run into people that they, 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 that they just like, I'll give you a quick one is, you know, I believe that a certain product is saturated. Man, that's stupid. If there's 7.9 billion people on the planet, uh, I can find people that have never ever heard of the product. Yeah, but Robert, I'm talking about in my city. Well, that's another objection. If you're marketing online and there's 2 billion people on Facebook or the other social medias, why are you focused on finding people locally? Another paradigm shift. I want to find the right people. I don't need them to be in my small city of Laurel, Montana. <laughs> well, you know, my city, well, if your city has got a bunch of people in it that won't be interested, I guarantee you that I can find interested people in your city. Now, here's the difficulty. I don't know if I'd want to. See, what if I even knew the demographics of where the people are in the world that really truly want the better things in life? What if I focus on that demographic? And so I'll be talking about a little bit of that in the video. So make sure you go to, Rob thank you, Craig, uh, youtube.com forward slash Robert Hollis and, uh, you know, check out the videos, but make sure that you figure out what things that you need to believe in so that you can go out there and go into action. So tomorrow I promise you a video that I'm just gonna show you the little things and some of you already know what I'm gonna do because you guys have reached out to a lot of people and go, okay, I wanna be successful, what do I do? You, some of you already know what you need to do. And I'm telling you the reason that you're not doing it is because you don't know what's simple and easy way to do it. And that's what I'm going to talk about tomorrow. So we got to get you belief in you, belief in what you're doing. I appreciate you. Again, thank you again for all the birthday wishes. I really appreciated them. And we'll see you tomorrow. Same place, same bat channel. <laughs> Take care, everyone. God bless.